broadcaster Gerald Salenti. He accurately predicted the fall of the Soviet Union, the crash of 87, and the housing collapse. He is now predicting what he calls the Greatest Depression. We all know the Great Depression was bad. You're saying this is going to be worse. Much worse. Much more violent. Violent. So much more violent. street crime? Street crime. Civil unrest? Civil unrest. My saying is when people lose everything and they have nothing left to lose, they lose it. With respect, you're a very depressing guy to talk to. Ah, come on, I'm a happy-go-lucky guy. <laughs> but Gerald Salenti points out that the guys in the mainstream got it wrong. I'm always amazed that people would listen to the people that didn't see it coming to say what's going to happen next. Gerald Salenti is not taking any chances. He's been trained in close combat. Here's Gerald Salenti. He is a guy who watches trends to see what the future holds, and he says it ain't a recession. Um, how are you, sir? Great. It is good to see you. You may be spookier than me. And I think what we may have in common is we're not afraid to look at the possibilities that are down the road here. We're, we're living in an extraordinarily fragile time as a globe right now, are we not? Like nothing we've ever seen in our lifetime or I would say anyone's lifetime. Okay, why do you say that and what is coming? We're looking at, first of all, we're looking at the collapse of 09. We're going to start seeing the retail sector collapse. We've already saw it from the retail sales in 2008. And now we're going to see it in 2009. A lot of empty stores, a lot of vacancies, and also in the commercial sector of real estate as well, in the office spaces. It's way overbuilt. It's going to be a collapse worse than the subprime. And, and is there anything that we can spend our way in, and make it better? You can't spend your way out of problems. You have to produce your way out of problems. It, it, this, is e this isn't even economics 101. It's economics for dummies. You can't print money based on nothing and expect it right. to, to right. fix the problem. See, here's the thing. DNR. Everybody is talking about the Democrats and the Republicans. DNR. That's not the story. If you keep playing the political game and just look at the donkeys and the elephants fighting it out, it's a cake and circus game. The DNR that we will be talking about if we don't wake up soon will be depression and revolution. That's right on the money. If you follow the leaders, you're going to fail. We're going into this, you better learn how to fight for your survival in intelligent ways. We're going into the Greatest Depression. It's going to be worse than the 29 Depression and the 30s Depression. Why? Back then, most people didn't own homes. There was no such thing as a home equity loan. Back then, people didn't have credit cards. There weren't $14 trillion in debt. Back then, we had trade surpluses. We had budget surpluses. We were, and that's when they talk about the 1930s and using this as a model. Get it? It's the 21st century. These programs don't work in the 21st century in the global age. We had trade surpluses and, ba and balanced budgets. We had balanced... We had budget surpluses, not 10.5 trillion in the whole. We had a manufacturing base to produce our way out of this. For these politicians to keep bringing up the 1930s is moronic. And when I look at people looking to Washington to solve the problem, I'm an open-minded man. I'm a trends researcher. I look at data and information. Show me one, one program that they could say, look at the great job that we did. Oh, Katrina, great. Oh, look at the World Trade Center, how they rebuilt it, bigger and better than before. There's not one thing the government can do to solve this problem. They don't have the intelligence, and they don't have the methodology. Okay. They used to say to us, you know, we agree with what you're saying, but can't you write about something positive? Yeah, it's like the <laughs> ship going down and saying, oh, doesn't the band sound great? Right. Well, it, uh, it is positive if you know what, what's coming, because and, then you can prepare for it. But people are afraid of the truth. Okay, good. We'll have you back, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for saying what you actually believe. Let's look at our first scenario. It's the financial meltdown. The year is 2014. All the U.S. banks have been nationalized. Unemployment is about between and, 12 uh, Gerald and Gerald Salente, he's the founder of Trends Research Institute. Gerald, you, gosh, you're one of the spookiest dudes I know. Because for you, this is like not a war game. You think a lot of this stuff is really coming. We're writing the history of the future. Okay. Um, what is life like, under that scenario, what is life like in 2014 for America? 
New York City looks like Mexico City. If you have money, or they think you're going to have money, you're going to be a target for a kidnapping. We're going to see major cities look like Calcutta. There's going to be the homeless, panhandlers, hookers. Hold on, just. <laughs> Prozac? Uh, yeah, Prozac? Prozac, yeah. I'll take a couple. Prozac, American, you can have some. Okay. So it's, it's going to be serious. It's going to be, we're going to see petty thieves, and we're going to see pickpockets. Okay. Gerald Salenti, founder of the Trends Research Institute. These are Depression-era collapses. We saw major bankruptcies. Circuit City. We saw linens and things. One bankruptcy after another. Then we saw store closings. The question becomes... Who is going to take all of the vacant retail space? Who is going to rent it? The answer is nobody. Now we look at the financial collapse in 2008. You saw the Merrill Lynch mob go under, the Bear Stearns gang go out of business, the Lehman boys, they went bankrupt. You saw bond companies, brokerage firms, banks go belly up or bought out. Who's going to rent all the vacant commercial business space that they used to occupy? The answer is nobody. The commercial real estate collapse that's going to happen in 2009 is going to dwarf the residential real estate collapse. What are we going to see happening to the society, to people's day-to-day -day lives in terms of how they treat one another, how they behave? crime. When I say it's going to be worse than the Great Depression, we call this the Greatest Depression, you're going to see crime levels in America that are going to rival that of a third world country. Welcome Mexico City. You're going to start seeing people being kidnapped in this country like they do in other underdeveloping nations. So it's going to be very violent in, the, in America. You're not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. The facts are there. I have a saying. When people lose everything, and they have nothing to lose, they lose it. When will this revolution that you have forecasted in your Trends Journal happen and what will ignite it? It's going to be a tax revolt. We're going to start seeing a tax revolt in the United States. Do you feel people are not hopeful that Obama will make a difference? People are hopeful, they're desperate, and they're fearful. And they'll hang on to anything. So what are Americans supposed to do? If, they don't, if they're not supposed to trust their leaders. You can't keep printing money based on nothing. You can't print money to get yourself out of this. So personally, I buy gold. And I've been, we've been talking about gold since the Trends Journals. 2001, we pegged the bottom. We said it would start going up at 275. Number two, you don't spend a dime you don't need to, to spend. So what is it that you would like for viewers to do with the information that you are presenting right now? What we hope they do with the information is to take proactive measures, to understand what the future looks like so that they can redesign and reprogram to get to where they need to go. There's going to be plenty of opportunity to be made. It, it, it always happens in any downturn. The, the way it could change is when people regain their dignity and self-respect. That's when it's going to change, when they realize that they have it within them to take the information that's in there, find out who they really are, what their base, greatest talents are, and put that to work. How can America get out of the situation? All you have to do is to look back to the 1990s when America entered into a recession. We had 7.2 unemployment rate, uh, rate in 1993. What got us out of the 90s recession was something called the Internet Revolution. It was a productive capacity. Products were invented, designed, manufactured, marketed, and serviced. So you're asking about new jobs, anything in alternative energies, anything that's going to advance us into the 21st century in an intelligent way. That's where the job opportunities are going to be.